If DaVinci Resolve is your video editing software of choice, then you need to know which codecs can be hardware accelerated. And you're wondering, why do I need to know that? Well, if you've got your nice fancy graphics card that you maybe just were able to purchase and you're still wondering why the heck does some of the footage play back so choppy because I've got such beasty hardware. It's probably because your video codec can't be accelerated on the GPU and the simple solution could be that you just do a little switch on your camera that just changes the codec to a different codec and suddenly your editing experience is so much smoother. So in this video I'm going to show you which codecs can be hardware accelerated on DaVinci Resolve. Pond5 is a one-stop shop for all the creatives looking for royalty-free media assets to use for your project. Pond5 has the world's largest collection of video assets as well as other premium quality stock media to help you tell your story. In addition to video, you can find music, sound effects, after effects, templates, 3D models or photos. Also, if you're interested in free stock media, go check out pond5.com forward slash free. If you like what you see, Sign up for Pond5. Once it's yours, it's yours to use forever with royalty-free worldwide distribution. Pond5 features 24-7 customer service and best price guarantee to give you the peace of mind. Don't forget to use the link below to get 25% off. Go check out Pond5 in the video description below. So here's just a few things for you to think about if you maybe already have a video editing PC or maybe you're thinking about, you know, getting a video editing PC and you know which software you're going to be using, DaVinci Resolve, maybe Premiere Pro. If you want to know how this works in Premiere Pro, check out my previous video because, uh, you know, there's good information over there as well. Choosing some of the hardware like the GPU and CPU can be very important, especially in DaVinci Resolve. So let's have a look now which video codecs can be hardware accelerated through DaVinci Resolve. Now I've got to say big thanks for Puget Systems who actually did the test and actually you know published it so anyone can just check out this article. Just if you're not maybe so familiar with some of the video codecs um, let's do a little analysis then what the system or what the genesis is over here. So this is tested on DaVinci Resolve 17.1. So first of all let's have a look at the H.264 for codex very popular codex especially if you're using mirrorless cameras and you're shooting you know maybe some of the a lot of online contact then this is most likely what your mirrorless camera will shoot at or h265 which we're going to look at in a moment as you can see if h264 is your codec then there is only one codec option in the bit depth and the sub chroma sampling which actually is hardware accelerated on davinci resolve and this is 8-bit 420. If you're shooting 8-bit 422, 8-bit 444 or any of the 10-bit codecs then this can't be accelerated as long as the video codec is H.264. So this is the same no matter which graphics card you're using like some of the last few generations of Nvidia graphics cards, AMD Radeon graphics cards, Intel QuickSync 10th generation or 11th gen then it's exactly the same. Now things get very interesting when we move to the H.265 codec which is high efficiency video codec. Check this out now. So now you can see a few more green ticks on the screen and so let's have a look at then what codecs can be accelerated. So 8-bit 420 which is the same on the H.264 codec can be accelerated on all of these Nvidia cards. Now when we move to 8-bit 444 then NVIDIA 2000 series, so RTX 2060 or any of those series or RTX 3000 series cards, they can play back this as well, as well as Intel QuickSync 11th gen, not 10th gen, but 11th gen. Now, 10-bit 420 is exactly the same. So all of these cards can play back 10-bit 420. So if you want to shoot 10-bit, on your camera and get that amazing you know bit depth of color then make sure you shoot h.265 and 420 then pretty much any of your hardware can play this back now when we move on to 10 bit 422 then there is nvidia cards 2000 and 3000 series that can play back that one as well and now 12 bit 420 is the same that nvidia cards can play that back 1000 series 2000 series and 3000 series nvidia cards can play that back and even 12 bit 444 can be played back on nvidia rtx 2000 and 3000 series now 
If you are a Premiere Pro user, then you're probably crying right now because there is much more codex being able to play back on DaVinci Resolve because DaVinci Resolve can utilize hardware acceleration in so many more video codecs than Premiere Pro. If you want to know which codecs can be accelerated over hardware in Premiere Pro, then check out my previous video. But the absolute silent killer of a workhorse or a little surprise over here is Intel's 11th gen processors because the 11th gen QuickSync, which utilizes the integrated graphics on that processor, look at that. That processor can utilize the Intel QuickSync on all of these codecs, which is absolutely insane. Even though Intel's 11th gen like processor release might have sounded a little bit like meh, then if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, then that could be very, very, very interesting uh, upgrade for you if you want to do that. So basically, in conclusion, if you want to accelerate your editing workflow or the actual timeline performance playback, or sometimes even the export speeds, then maybe just think about which codecs can be hardware accelerated through DaVinci Resolve, and then you're going to make your life so much easier. I know some of the projects that you're going to be working on require a certain bit depth and, you know, chroma subsampling or some of the codecs, but if that doesn't matter, then just make the life easier for you and for your PC. Get faster playback speed on the timeline, faster export times just because you chose the right codec from your camera. Now, there isn't that big of a difference between 420 and 422 10-bit, for example, if you're shooting your A7S III new camera. I know in certain scenarios it does make difference and that that but 95% of the time in your real world you know when you're just shooting stuff for YouTube or online video content creation then there is not gonna be a difference and you're not gonna see the difference so just flicking that from 422 to 420 is just gonna make a massive difference. So hopefully this just gave you a few things to think about, like, oh, actually I could shoot different codecs or do you know what? I might upgrade to a certain graphics card because it's so much better in playing back that footage. For example, Nvidia 3000 uh, series graphics card with Intel 11th gen could be quite an interesting pair for DaVinci Resolve. Anyway, my friends, hope this helped you. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. If you want to check out some interesting PC builds for creators, check out some PC builds on the channel. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.